Hey friend, this is Rick and Denise. And today we're in Warsaw, Poland, where we have attended a big meeting with Joyce Meyer. It was awesome. It was awesome. I think about 70% of the people raised their hands to make Jesus the Lord of their life last night. It was just something else. Hey, but today I want to finish talking about Romans chapter 12, verse 1, where the Apostle Paul says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourselves a... Living sacrifice. Living sacrifice. Now that is so strange because most sacrifices were dead. They were dead. And you have to remember that Paul was writing to the pagan world. And in the pagan world, they offered all kinds of sacrifices. There was a big altar in front of every right. temple. And the best, most expensive sacrifice you could offer was a big ox or a bull. And when they offered it, it was a great act of celebration. They would paint its horns and they would cover its body with paint and ribbons and the people would come with their flutes and they would sing and they would shout and the dancers would twirl because it was a very big thing to offer a significant sacrifice. And then they'd walk that bull right up to the very altar where they would lay its head on the side of the altar, take out the knife, cut it, and the blood would just begin to spew and then their sacrifice was dead. Dead. That was it. That sacrifice could never be offered again. It was a dead sacrifice. But Paul says we're to be living sacrifices, mm -hmm. which means every day of our life, we're to offer ourselves as a great act of celebration. We don't just come before the Lord and say, oh, God, it's so hard. Oh, Lord, I'm going to give myself to you. Lord, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. But we're to come with the attitude, wow, this is the best thing we have to offer. What, else, what other better thing do we have to offer to than give ourselves. to God than ourselves? And so we literally say, God, here I come. Living. Oh, Lord, I'm giving you the best that I am. This is the best that I have. Lord, I'm bringing it to you. And the Lord takes us. Mm -hmm. And praise God. The next morning when we wake up, we get to do it again. And the next morning when we wake up, we get to do it again. We are literally living sacrifices. And if you keep it in context, and the Romans understood this because they had formerly been pagans and because the city of Rome was still full of it. They understood to be a living sacrifice means to have a continual, celebrative, festive attitude that today and every minute of my day, I am giving myself to Jesus. I am presenting myself to the Lord, the best I have to give. That's awesome, Rick. And you know, when you give, when you sacrifice, there was always the anointing that came. There was anointing. It was really something, wasn't it? <laughs> there was fire. In the same way the anointing of God comes where there's sacrifice, the fire of God comes. Amen. So when you think about presenting yourself as a living sacrifice, get rid of that old religious idea that says, oh, this is hard. This is hard. It might be hard getting started, but you've just got to make a decision. This is the best thing. This is the most celebrative thing. Today, right now, Lord, you've let me live in this day, this day which is your time. I've stepped into your time. Yes. And as my thanksgiving, here I come. Yes. I'm coming to your altar. Mm -hmm. And I am your living sacrifice Amen. today. Amen. Have you done that today? Do you do that every day? We do that, don't we, every morning. In fact, even before we get out of bed, we lift our hands before the Lord every morning, me and Denise. And we say, Jesus, today we give ourselves to you. That's the way we start our morning every day. If you don't do that, why don't you do that starting today? Think about it.